Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to check whether a column exists in a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 3 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of our studio and we can also have a look at this data frame object by clicking on the data frame and then you will see that our data consists of five rows and three columns, call one, call two and call three. So let's assume that we want to check whether the column name call three exists in our data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line seven and in this line of code I'm using the in operator and Based on the in operator, I'm checking whether the character string call3 is contained in the column names of our data frame. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a logical value is returned. And in this case, the logical value is true. And this actually means that the column name call3 is existing in our data frame data. So in the next example, I want to show you what happens when we are searching for a column name that is not existing in our data frame. And this is what you can see in line nine of the code. So in this line of the code, I'm checking whether the column other call is contained in our data. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the logical value false is returned. And this is telling us that the variable other call is not existing in our data frame. So in this video you have learned how to check whether a column exists in a data frame in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. I will also put all the R programming code of this video into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming tutorials to this channel. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.